JD's and gentlemen, it's Super Bowl 58. Let's break it down and talk about it. Now, the 49ers have had a very, very suspect playoff run. Great regular season, turned upside down the playoffs where they were favored against the Packers and the Lions by a touchdown in both of those games and barely won both of those games. And even at one point during both games, they were favored to lose kind of heavily in both games. But you know what? They eked out the wins and they're in the Super Bowl. Congratulations, Niners. Chiefs, on the other hand, Bumpy regular season. And then the playoffs, they they flipped the script. The Taylor Swift script has kicked in. They were pretty dominant against Buffalo. They hung in there. It was a close game. And then they seized control late and won the game. And against the Ravens, don't let the final score of 17-10 to 10 fool you. It was an absolute ass whooping. It was pure domination from start to finish. The 49ers defense have had timely stops when needed to, coming back in both games, and the Chiefs have forced some long field goals as well. Speaking of field goals, it's quite possible that both teams are here because of missed field goals. My Anders Carlson and the Bills' Tyler Bass. I played a little kicker back in my day just to show you guys. I made a 40-yard field goal myself. It is, uh, is a little close, but you know what? I made it. Anders, what the fuck? My sadness aside, let's talk about the keys for each defense. Now, for the Chiefs, it's pretty simple. You want to make Brock Purdy beat you. He's been pretty suspect in the playoffs, in my opinion. He's thrown like five interceptions to the Packers that were dropped. Thank you, Darnell Savage. So the Chiefs might get a ball or two thrown their way if Brock Purdy gets flustered. If they can hang on to it, complete the interception, score some points off the turnover, then they are in business. For the 49ers, it's pretty simple as well. You're going to want to make Patrick Mahomes beat you. And by that, I mean you take away Travis Kelsey, his security blanket, and you force him to throw the ball to MVS and Kadarius Toney. I do not think those two are beating you. The Chiefs wide receiver play has been piss poor at best. So if you can take away Taylor Swift's boyfriend, I'm pretty sure 49ers are in business. I expect a big game from Patrick Mahomes, 300 yards, two touchdowns. But I expect an even bigger game from Run CMC, Christian McCaffrey, with 130 scrimmage yards, two touchdowns, and Super Bowl MVP. I have the 49ers winning this game with a final score of 30-28. to 28. I expect a high-scoring game. I believe the over-under total is set at 47.5. But I think they're going to blow the roof off that number. They're going to get close to 60. I trust Fred Warner. That dude's a beast. He's like Troy Polamalu 2.0. I expect him and the 49ers defense to carry them to this win. And I expect Kyle Shanahan to get over the hump and finally win a Super Bowl. And for the Niners to quit bragging about Super Bowls that they were never even alive to see. I think they'll, <laughs> I think they'll get this one and can actually have some real bragging rights. Let me know. Is my prediction a W, an L, or an N? An N means neutral. An N means you just don't care.